What's up guys? Thanks so much for joining another episode. We are outside and we are taking a look at the transmission from the 1973 240Z. Now, this transmission works fine. We are looking for a 5-speed, but this is the stock 4-speed that came with the car. So there's a couple things we found that you can probably see when we pulled it. We've got some leaks in the back and also in the front. Um, in the bell housing, so we'll want to address that. It's cheap. It's only about 20 bucks to fix the seals. This one on the top we're gonna have to make, so we'll walk through that process. Stay tuned. First thing we want to do is get this thing clean. Get all the grime and all the stains from the oil off. Now we'll dry it up and take it back in the garage. We're going to be using this set from Z Car Depot, and this has the gasket and the front seal. So, the gasket for this piece and the front seal, and also it comes with the seal for the rear of the transmission. So, first, we're going to pull this plate off. So off camera we went and soaked the housing in PB Blaster overnight and gave it a few wax and finally broke it loose. So definitely recommend soaking the outer edge of the gasket in PB Blaster or some brake clean. And then we will just be able to give it a few more wax with a mallet and a chisel or a screwdriver and you want to use the the fork hole and just be able to pry that off. And there we go. And the spacers you want to make sure you keep track of. So now what we'll do is we'll clean up the gasket surface We'll pull the input shaft seal out and replace it with the new one and clean up the gasket seal surface for this as well. Now that we have the mating surfaces all nice and clean, we're going to pull out this seal and we're just going to use a screwdriver and carefully pry it out. and then we'll just clean this area as well. Now we have our seal and we're going to just apply a little bit of petroleum jelly to the inside and the outer of the seal. And then the flat side of the seal will go against the bracket. Just push that in as far as it goes, make sure it's flat. And of course the mating surface we've also cleaned on the transmission. And you'll just want to take a good look and make sure that none of the little gasket materials are sitting there maybe blow some uh, low pressure compressed air over that. So we'll want to take our front cover and then grab our five bolts for mounting it to the transmission and keep in mind this bolt on top is the longer of the five. Now we've placed our five bolts keeping in mind the top bolt is the longest. We'll place our gasket. And then we need to place the bearing shim. And then we're going to place some grease along the input shaft. And 
And now we'll place our front cover. And keeping track of our bearing. And snug those bolts up. Now we're going to just torque the bolts up. The five hex heads, we're going to do 12 to 16 foot pounds, and the fork uh, bolt, we are going to do 14 to 25 foot pounds. Next, we're moving to the back of the transmission where we're going to replace the rear shaft seal. So we're going to pull the seal out just by prying out the seal and just being careful not to score the uh, rear output shaft. Now I'll just get some brake clean and clean up the housing. And now we'll just apply some petroleum jelly to the outside. And the inner lip. And then we'll just tap it in. Now at the beginning of the video I talked about changing the gasket on the top here and after further inspection and especially after cleaning it, definitely there's no leaks coming from this gasket. In the previous video we did replace the o-ring in the speedometer um, pinion gear. So what I believe is happening is the air as it came through would push that oil and up and over and just covered the back. So we're going to skip replacing that gasket and we'll just watch it. If it does happen, then we'll get to pull it and do it again. So we fixed the transmission leaks and we've got it all sorted. So now up next, we need to sand this engine bay, get it all prepped and ready so we can get it painted. And most importantly, get that transmission and engine into this car and get it rolling. So thanks so much for watching. If you like what you see, hit that like button. And if you want to see more of this crazy stuff on this car, hit that subscribe.